And now, please welcome Dr. Thomas Schnell and Lieutenant Colonel Patrick Hyland. Good evening. I'm Tom Mockschnell, and I'm a professor at the University of Iowa and the director of the Operator Performance Laboratory, or OPL. Good evening. I'm Lieutenant Colonel Patrick Dice Highland. I'm an experimental test pilot for the United States Air Force. Dice and I are honored to present to you some of the work we performed on an ongoing project, a DARPA project called Air Combat Evolution, or ACE. The ACE project implements air combat autonomy by using human-machine collaborative dogfighting as its challenge problem. The ongoing work we are presenting here today involves the real-time quantification and classification of human trust of combat autonomy. The goal of ACE is to introduce artificial intelligence-powered combat autonomy into fighter jets to increase the lethality and effectiveness of our fighter pilots. ACE project performers work in four technical areas. TA-1 performers are creating AI systems for air combat maneuvering. TA-2, the technical area that I'm working in, models pilot trust using real-time unobtrusive trust assessment algorithms. TA-3 focuses on the application of AI in a large air battle operations context. And TA-4 integrates all this ACE technology into combat relevant jet aircraft. ACE is currently executing phase two. All right. When the ACE combat autonomy iPod is turned on and the fight begins, the human pilot is actually putting his or her life in the hands of an artificial intelligence algorithm. Thus, the pilot's role shifts from that of being the hands-on fighter to being a fighter manager ideally freeing up the human fighter pilot to perform other human-oriented tasks. Passing control to the combat autonomy requires calibrated trust or appropriate trust by the fighter pilot. A well-performing combat autonomy can be trusted and left unsupervised for longer periods of time than a poorly performing combat autonomy that requires near constant supervision. We want to minimize instances where the fighter pilot undertrusts a well-performing artificial intelligence by over-supervising it. However, and far more importantly, we want to avoid situations where the fire pilot overtrusts a poorly performing combat autonomy and not enough supervision is provided. This situation of overtrust and inadequate supervision can actually be lethal to the fighter pilot as the adversary could kill the aircraft when the fighter pilot is not paying attention. As a result, an unobtrusive objective real-time trust or ORTT measurement algorithm was needed and developed so that the onboard avionics could detect these situations of pilot under trust and over trust and notify him or her accordingly through the human machine interface or HMI. We call that HMI symbology the trustometer, TOM, or the TOM. We quantify pilot trust through real time observation of pilot behavioral cues in conjunction with a risk to mission model that takes in the aircraft geometry during the fight and considers the weapons employment zones. At OPL, we built this ORTT system and integrated it into two of our highly instrumented fighter jet trainer test beds. We then evaluated the value of the trust assessment algorithm and its associated HMI warning symbology in the flight test earlier this year. This flight test involved 32 hours of 1v1 air combat maneuvering in over 90 individual dogfights. DICE was the safety pilot in the ACE test aircraft, and I was the safety pilot in the adversary aircraft. Our airborne trust assessment test beds are equipped with a large array of systems that allow command and control, live virtual constructive interaction with offboard entities, human performance assessment through our cognitive assessment tool set, embedded tactical autonomy with flight director display indications for the safety pilot to control the aircraft when the AI is providing guidance, numerous onboard computational resources, an F-35 representative helmet mounted display or HMD, and tactical data links that enable the exchange of aircraft and weapon state information. We will now play a short video that introduces this flight test after the video, 
This will explain the functionality of the trustometer. What you'll see in this next short clip is an engagement where my jet, the blue jet, and Mach's jet, the red one, were in what's called a stalemate of a dogfight. All that means is neither of us were winning or losing. We were on opposite sides of the turn circle, which means risk was low to moderate. This provided the evaluation pilot, or the pilot in the back of my airplane, uh, an ample time to do his battle management task, which we viewed as a uniquely human task, while the AI flew his aircraft for him or her. You will see the evaluation pilot's battle manage activity in the lower left image of the screen. They're interacting with the screen with the HOTUS. And then the EP could watch his trustometer in the helmet mounted display at all times. The trustometer would tell the EP to look up with a small up arrow when the situation was less risky, or sorry, what became more risky. And then conversely, when the situation was less risky, it would tell the uh, pilot to look down at his battle management task. When the EP's trust was appropriately calibrated, for the situation, meaning paying attention to the battle management task or the dogfight as, as necessary. He got a solid uh, circle, which meant his, to keep doing what he was doing. So what you'll see in this dogfight stalemate is, uh, we're gonna hit, hit uh, play here and I'll, I'll talk through it, is on the lower right is this helmet mounted display. You can see here that the aircraft, the red, the adversary, and the blue, which is the evaluation pilot, are quite far apart. Uh, this is what we call pre-merge, where the risk is very low because we're doing a guns-only dogfight. Also of note, you'll hear some radio calls softly in the background. They're not important, but what we want you to get across is this was a live flight with two pieces of metal in the air that could actually hit each other. So the risk is actually elevated and the, the trust the observed is pretty important. As the merge happens, you'll see that he's looking outside, which means he's not doing what's appropriate because right here he's not in danger of getting shot down. So the HMD was telling him, look down, battle manage. Now he's looking down and battle managing and saying, hey, keep doing what you're doing. Your trust is appropriate of the AI. That's what you'd see for most of a stalemate dogfight. You can stop the video. So in this next video, you'll see a fight where I max perform my jet to get a quick, quick, quick kill on Dice's jet, the blue jet. You will notice how much less time the EP had to do any kind of battle management. And there will be a look up cue, and I will point that out to you when the red aircraft is getting ready to take a shot. At the end, the EP realizes that the best course of action in this situation is to paddle off the combat autonomy. So again, we're uh, pre-merge, risk is low, the pilot's battle managing, and you can see how in the bottom left screen, he's scrolling around in the battle manager and assigning uh, blue uh, unmanned aircraft to red targets. At the merge, he was looking up, which most fighter pilots do, and the trustometer actually told him not to do that. And you'll see how the red aircraft is now gaining angles on the uh, blue jet, and he continues battle managing, and the trustometer realized that and told him to look up, which he's doing now, and it's also appropriate to do so, as indicated by the filled circle.
And so the EP paddled off. We don't know if he would have lived at that point or not. That's where our fights always terminate. Thank you very much.